Thank you so much. Thank you for this uh, beautiful and important film. <laughs> Let me start by asking you um, uh, how and when this all started for you. Well, it all started uh, um, more than 10 years ago. I heard about uh, Safa. Um, I heard about a couple of women, Muslim women in the Galilee um, who established different things um, according to um, culture. But when I heard that uh, there is one woman um, who established the first and only uh, cinematic, Arab cinematic in Israel, I just called Safa and I asked her uh, if I can come to see it in my own eyes. And that's how it all began. And uh, then you kept going back for over 10 years? Is this, uh, that's been, well, you must have finished it a little while ago, and, uh, and 10 years of that process, why, why so long? Well, um, it took time, uh, first of all, to, to make relationship and uh, with Safa. Um, although from the beginning it was unbelievable um, documentary um, moments, um, the first day that I uh, came to Nazareth, I came with my own uh, camera, uh, like a home video camera. Um, you saw it in the middle of the film. It's uh, the film festival with the wine issue. Um, uh, it was the first day of shooting. Uh, and with my own... Reminds me of this film festival. <laughs> <laughs> and it was unbelievable to see this conflict with the wine as a Muslim, as a religious uh, woman. Uh, and when I saw Safa with her hijab uh, in the middle of the cinematic with uh, all that uh, audience uh, that she got, it was the first time that Iranian film was uh, screening in Israel. <laughs> And as a um, religious woman uh, by myself, I, th I th thought that she must be my uh, next film. Um, and uh, let me ask, how is she doing today? Well, unfortunately, she, she has uh, um, issues of uh, problem um, health issues. So um, we hope that uh, she will be fine and hopefully will uh, um, catch on with her dream because she's in a little break now. What did she think of the film? It's always nervous to, to show uh, the film to the character. And did you screen it there? Um, no. no. It, uh, it, still cl it still doesn't work. Um, but I, she came to the editing room like in the final um, um, edition and then there was two uh, very emo um, um, emotion uh, premieres in Israel. One in the Haifa Film Festival last year, um, which was actually the first time that she saw it like uh, on a big screen and you know everybody uh, get up and uh, it was very, uh, very uh, emotional uh, moment for her. And then um, I'm happy to say that we had uh, won the prize in another film festival uh, in Tel Aviv, and she also uh, was in the uh, in the screening, and it was like a very, very good experience. Great. Um, uh, wonder any questions, comments, thoughts from the audience. Thank you. Did she not get the budget because she turned that guy in? Is that why she didn't get the budget? This is her narrative. Uh, as you know, there is a, always a couple of narratives. Not narrative. Um, it's very complicated. You never can say uh, what's the only or one reason uh, for th something to happen. But um, sh for sure, it's one of the processes that was very, very co co um, hard to deal with. Thank you. It was a wonderful film, but a very sad ending. But I, I was surprised that there were no um, Arab cinemas because um, on the West Bank in Ramallah in 1962, they were showing Arab films and in Jericho as well. And I don't know what the problem is. Is it because people are becoming extremely religious now? Or uh, why, why is there no Arab, uh, Arab cinema anywhere? Well, there's still uh, today uh, in, in the Palestine areas a couple of cinemas. 
uh, and it was uh, in the past in Nazareth, uh, also a, a cinema, very famous one, uh, who became a very uh, fishy place uh, and was closed. Uh, and for a lot of time, um, uh, there was no cinema at all, not in Nazareth and not any, any other place. And um, Israeli Arabs who wants to go to see films can go to other uh, theaters, but it's always in English or Hebrew. Uh, to see um, Arab films like from Egypt or uh, other places, um, it was like the only place. And till today, there is uh, no other place. It's, it's a problem of uh, somebody who will be uh, crazy enough to do it, I think. I think for a lot of it, I mean, there's a lot of cultural questions here, but there's also a question of um, of how the market works, and the mainstream cinemas in Israel are catering to the Jewish market because that's what's going to sell to them. And uh, by the way, they, they, they do screen Israeli films, but they first and foremost screen American films because that's, uh, that's where the money is. Um, Arab films are not making as much money within Israeli society. Why aren't more Arabs going to see these movies? This is something that I, I know the Arab community is looking to improve, but there's been a kind of a cultural disconnect there. And um, rarely are films that are coming, that are catering to the Arab community um, released, nor are there subtitles for the Arab community. I'm somewhat proud, I'll uh, tap ourselves on the shoulder and say that the Other Israel Film Festival just collaborated with the Jerusalem Cinematheque to create a program that brings Arab students from East Jerusalem to the Cinematheque to watch mainstream movies with Arabic subtitles and we supported the creation of these subtitles because otherwise there's just zero exposure to it. A applause to the Jerusalem Cinematheque for really putting this program together. Okay. Thank you for a very interesting film. I have a question. How does Safa support herself? She said that she sold her apartment, her cars, everything. So how does she support herself? Well, it's a, it's a very um, tough question, and uh, it's, a very, um, it's, it's very complicated, um, also for Safa. Um, but she has uh, different uh, kinds of uh, solutions uh, through um, other business um, of the family and uh, stuff like that. And, but um, you are uh, touching a very um, complicated uh, issue. It's always uh, complicated, all the finance issues, but um, it, it is uh, not so easy uh, even today. <coughs> Shalom Nurit. Hi. I've been following your work for a number of years and I'm interested in knowing what your next project is. Thank you. First of all, thank you very much that you came. Stalker alert. Now I'm, I'm getting in. <laughs> you, we've been with the State Department? Thank you so much that you came. <laughs> um, I have the privilege to, to be a guest of the State Department uh, in the U.S. in 2007. And you was a wonderful guide. <laughs> thank you so much. Gil Kulik, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What happened to the sons? Hold on, what, what's it, what, we had the question of what's your next so, project? Uh, my next project will be uh, similar to my previous um, project, uh, which you might have uh, heard of. Um, my previous uh, project called uh, A Tale of a Woman and the Robe, it was Queen Hin in the, in the JCC uh, last year. Uh, and it's a unique uh, project in the um, matter of starting as a video art for an exhibition and then became became a, a documentary film so my next project will be um, at the same process uh, starting with a exhibition uh, hopefully next winter in jerusalem um, with uh, video arts and collaboration with other artists uh, of fine arts and then uh, hopefully it will be a documentary film and it's all always it's connection also to activism um, in uh, issues of uh, um, feminism and religious in Israel and uh, stuff like um, something like that. I, I'd be happy to <laughs> um, if you if you'll be also uh, uh, if you'll see it uh, as well. What happened to the sons? 
Uh, both of them um, in Israel. Um, actually, um, Shahin, the son that you saw that uh, left to the state, came very back, very soon back to Israel, but um, never believe documentary films. Uh, it wasn't, uh, um, you know, for the narrative of the of the story, it wasn't uh, relevant. Uh, they both uh, very um, helpful for her, and uh, they are very close to her. Although each one of them has struggled with his own uh, difficulties. What happened to the horse? Every <laughs> well, I felt what everyone really wants to know. To, to sell it. No. I, I had two questions. I was wondering whether the Cinematheque came under any pressure from Miri Regev. And my other question was, this just seems like such a natural thing for the New Israel Fund to support. What happened? <laughs> well, uh, first of all, it's all happened before Miri Regev uh, became a minister, so n no connection uh, at all. Um, actually, Miri Re I heard that Miri Regev uh, gave uh, money to Nazareth uh, those days. So, but anyway, it's 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 not uh, relevant at all. It's all shoot was shooting before. Um, the premiere was uh, last year in. Uh, when did you finish the edit? When did when did you yeah. stop filming? No, when did the movie have stopped? The the last uh, scene was two years ago. And um, about the new found, it's much more difficult. You know, she she said about being a sandwich, uh, the Israeli Arab like uh, uh, kind of a sandwich, and it, it's also true about like. Uh, um, um, Europe won't support Israel, Arab, Israeli Arabs because they are Israeli. Uh, really, it's unbelievable, but it's true. Stuck in between. I have a question right here. I was curious how, how long was the Cinematique open? How many years? Almost 10 years. 10 it's years? Not, yeah. Okay. Let me ask you just one final question, which is kind of a general one, but as you do your work um, uh, predominantly in the, re with you, you mentioned um, women and religion, um, do you find a comparison between um, uh, the work that we saw here on screen and anything in the Orthodox Jewish world? Well, first of all, of course, yes. Um, that's why maybe I, I felt um, that although she's Muslim and I'm Jew, I felt that I understand very quick and very deeply um, her struggles. Um, because more than being a Muslim in Nazareth and Arab in Israel, etc., um, being a, a, a woman in a conservative society, it's always quite of, of the same. Although I must say that I think that um, Safa in the Muslim society needs to struggle with um, more difficult issues than I do uh, in the Orthodox uh, community. Uh, it's, it's different, but I think it's also uh, harder um, for her. But um, in, in a lot of means, it's, it's similar. Fascinating. Thank you so much for this th film, and thank you for being here. Thank you all for joining us. I'll remind you tomorrow, The 90 Minute War. These are like your last few films that you could catch with us, so do it while you can. 90 Minute War and Land of the Little People, two fantastic feature films. And then closing night, we added a special screen.